Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best shortcuts that you can get for your iOS 14 device and I believe are very, very useful. So of course you must have them on your iOS 14 device. Now shortcuts are really great. Some of them are very, very useful and will make your life way easier using them on your device on daily basis. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys some of the best shortcuts that you must download on your iOS 14 device. Starting things off with the first one, it is Icon Themer. Now since I was 14, of course, everybody has been going crazy about creating custom setups and adding custom icons to the home screen setup. With Icon Themer, you can theme icons and of course create custom icons which will open directly to the app not redirect you through the shortcuts app. So what to do, go ahead and tap right there tap on the shortcut and from here you need to go ahead and choose which app you want to create a custom shortcut for. You can go ahead and search in App Store or you can just tap right there to go to the system apps if you want to theme any of the system apps. So go ahead, tap right there on the app that you want to theme and then from here you can go ahead and choose a photo, an icon that you might have saved on the photo library. So just tap right here, you can choose from the photo gallery or you can choose from files and once you choose the icon that you want to set for that app, you go ahead and add the label here, tap the dumb button. And now what you need to do is just tap on create my icon. You can of course go ahead and create a bunch of icons and then actually go ahead and add them to the home screen. So let's just go ahead and name this real quick here. And now let's wait here for the process. Click save right here. So it will save the profile on the files app. And what this will do is create a profile which will be installed through the settings app. And then of course, that way you will have the icon on the home screen, which will actually open the app, not redirect you through the shortcuts app. Once you go to the settings, you will see right here, the profile, click install on it and click install right here and you're good to go. Now you will have the custom icon on the home screen. So here we have the one that we just created. And as you can see, it will directly open the app. Next up is review photo gallery. Now this one is one that I use quite often. It allows you to just tap on the shortcut and it will show you right here all the photos that you have taken today with your camera or have saved today on the camera roll. So every day you go ahead and do this, it shows you your today's photo and gives you the options to clear them. So right here, I have like a bunch of screenshots that I don't need anymore. And of course I can go ahead, select them, tap the dumb button right there and we'll be able to delete them from here. So every day you can go ahead and clean your photos, delete the ones that you don't need, don't wanna have on your device. So you don't have a bunch of photos just taking up space on your iPhone. Next up is Auto Wall. This one I have created myself. It basically uses the iOS 14.3 feature, which of course will be released very soon. So you will all be able to use this feature that allows you to automatically change the wallpaper using the shortcut. So here I have my wallpaper. Go ahead, tap on the shortcut there. Of course, you can have this on the home screen and just quickly, just like that, change the wallpaper. You can see how it does change the wallpaper. Now, once you have this shortcut installed, you go ahead and tap the three dots right there. And right here we'll have album is, you tap right there and go ahead and choose whichever album of photos you want to use. And then of course, from that album, it will set wallpapers on the home screen and lock screen of your device. The next shortcut for the video is Shazam++. Now using this shortcut, you will be able to find songs, of course, using the Shazam feature, but also you will be able to directly play on any service that you choose. So right here, I've chosen Spotify, so I can go ahead and open it on Spotify as easy as that. So you can see it recognizes the song and it gives me the option to open it on Spotify directly from here. So that's really cool. So you can choose when you install the shortcut and you go through the setup, you can choose whichever service you use. Like you use Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you use, you can use that to open the songs directly there, the songs which you identify, of course, using Shazam. 
The next shortcut for the video is called All Shortcuts. Now this is meant to be used on the home screen widget of shortcuts. So what it does, once you tap on the widget, of course it will run the shortcut, you tap right there, and it will show you a list of all the shortcuts that you have on the shortcuts app. And of course, from here you can go ahead and run any of the other shortcuts without having to go into the shortcuts app. So you wanna quickly access all of your shortcuts, you can do that from this shortcut on the home screen widget. Next up, we have dictate to notes. Now this one is really useful, one that I use quite often. It is called dictate to notes. Now what it allows you to do is just tap the shortcut and you can quickly dictate anything you want to the notes app. Of course, that will be saved as text on the notes app, on the default Apple notes app. So right here you can see it is listening. You just tap right there and that is saved under the notes app, of course, as a new note. Reverse image search is the next one for the video. It allows you to quickly search the web for any image that you have copied on the clipboard. So you copy the image to the clipboard, you go ahead and run the shortcut, and then of course it will search for that image and of course show you the results right here. Now this is a very neat feature that you cannot find on Safari. You can find it on Google Chrome and of course with shortcuts, you can have now that feature right here. So you can quickly go ahead and search for any image that you have copied on your clipboard. Search on lets you quickly search on any service you want. So you run the shortcut and you type right here what you want to search. Click the dumb button and now it will show you Google, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, Instagram hashtags. You can go ahead and search Amazon, Bing or DuckDuckGo. So anywhere you want on any of these services, you can go ahead and search from here. So of course, all the most popular services that you get like YouTube, Google, of course, Amazon and all that, you can quickly search on any of them. Shorten URL is the next one for the video. Now, whenever you want to share a URL on your social media or send it on a message or anywhere, it is very annoying to have a very long URL. With this installed, all you have to do is just run the shortcut and just like that, it will shorten the URL that you have copied on the clipboard. So you can see this is the URL that I had and this is the new URL right here. You can see how short that is. So just like that, with one click, you will get a short URL. Clean up clipboard allows you to edit the clipboard of your device. So whatever you have copied, you run the shortcut and from here it will show you what you have copied on your clipboard. Now what you can do here is of course go ahead and edit this, add or remove anything you want, click the dumb button and you have that back copied on the clipboard of your device. So you have the edited text or anything that you had copied back on the clipboard. Next, we have extreme battery saver. So whenever you have like very low battery on your iPhone and you need to preserve that battery or you want to plug it to charge and you want it to, to charge as quickly as possible, of course, the best thing is to turn on low power mode, turn off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular data, turn down the brightness of the device and all that stuff. With this shortcut installed, you don't have to do that manually. You run the shortcut and as you can see right here, it shows the pop-up, click yes and it will do all that for you. So you can see it will turn on dark mode, which of course preserves battery and everything will be shut off. You go ahead, tap right there again, tap the no button and it will turn off again everything. It will bring them back to their default. So that's really, really cool. And of course, very useful. And last but not least is a fun shortcut, but at the same time is useful as well. It is called name that emoji. So it allows you to see the name, the real name of every emoji. So you run the shortcut and of course from here, go ahead and just enter the emoji that you want to actually see the name of, click the dumb button and it will display you right here, the name of that emoji. So you can do that with every emoji on your iPhone. So that is it for this video guys. These are some of the best shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 14 device. Of course, very useful. Most of them are actually very, very useful and you probably will use them on daily basis. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.